Did you know there's a country within Italy that's not Italy at all? That's right. Nestled high in the craggy peaks of the northeastern Apennines, you'll find the intriguing microstate of San Marino. Despite being completely surrounded by Italy, San Marino maintains its independence and unique identity. This tiny country, spanning just over 23 square miles, is the world's oldest republic, with a history that stretches back to the 4th century. San Marino is a testament to resilience, having maintained its sovereignty through centuries of European history. With a population of just over 33,000 inhabitants, it's a cozy, close-knit community. Yet, don't let its size fool you. San Marino is a place of grandeur and allure, with its rugged landscapes, medieval architecture, and vibrant culture. So, are you ready to explore this fascinating enclave? Welcome to the journey through the enigmatic and captivating San Marino. Delve into the annals of time as we journey through San Marino's rich history. Picture a rugged mountain, its peaks reaching out to the heavens, a refuge for those seeking solace and safety. This was the vision of St. Marinus, a humble stonemason, who in the year 301 sought escape from religious persecution. Here on Mount Titan, he founded what is now known as San Marino, a beacon of hope and a testament to the human spirit. Over the centuries, San Marino has evolved into a unique entity, its governmental structure shaping into a republic, the world's oldest surviving sovereign state and constitutional republic. Governed by a pair of captains regent, elected every six months by the Grand and General Council, San Marino's political system is a fascinating blend of tradition and democracy, a testament to its enduring spirit. But San Marino's history is not just about its political resilience. It's a tale of survival, a testament to the strength and determination of its people. Over the centuries, this tiny republic has weathered countless storms, from the tumultuous waves of the Roman Empire to the turbulent tides of the Renaissance. Through the changing political landscape of Europe, San Marino has remained steadfast, its sovereignty never compromised. During the Napoleonic Wars, it was a refuge for those seeking asylum. Throughout the unification of Italy, it remained independent, a solitary beacon amidst the shifting sands of time. And during the Second World War, even as conflict raged around it, San Marino provided a haven, neutral and unscathed. Seemingly untouched by time, San Marino stands as a beacon of resilience and continuity. Its story is an inspiring journey, a testament to the enduring spirit of humanity, a reminder that even the smallest of states can leave a lasting impact on the world. From its founding by St. Marinus to its status as a modern republic, San Marino's history is a rich tapestry, woven with threads of courage, resilience, and unyielding spirit. Now imagine streets lined with medieval architecture and breathtaking views. As you wander through the winding lanes of San Marino, you'll be transported back in time by the allure of its iconic structures. These aren't just buildings, they're time capsules, preserving stories of a bygone era within their ancient walls. Let's start with the Three Towers, the crown jewels of San Marino. Perched atop the Titano Mountain, these towers are a testament to the Republic's strategic ingenuity. The oldest of the three, Guaita, dates back to the 11th century. Its sturdy stone walls and imposing presence have witnessed the ebb and flow of history, standing tall through centuries. The other two towers, Sesta and Montale, though younger, are equally enchanting, with their panoramic views and the historical artifacts they house. Next, let's journey to the Basilica di San Marino, a neoclassical marvel. Though it was built in the 19th century, it stands on the site of a 5th century church. The grandeur of the basilica, with its Corinthian columns and exquisite marble altars, echoes the spiritual devotion of centuries past. The basilica isn't just a place of worship, it's a treasure trove of art and history. Another architectural wonder is the Palazzo Publico, the town hall and heart of San Marino's political life. The Gothic revival style of the palazzo, with its crenellated walls and high arches, is a sight to behold. It's not just the aesthetic value that makes this building remarkable, but the democratic principles it symbolizes. The Palazzo Publico isn't just a building, it's a symbol of the enduring spirit of freedom and independence that defines San Marino. Each of these architectural marvels carries an essence of the medieval period, their charm undiminished by the passage of time. They stand as proud reminders of a rich and vibrant history, each structure resonating with the stories and spirit of the people who built them. Each stone and brick in San Marino whispers tales of the past. But San Marino is not just about history and architecture, 
it promises unique experiences. In this tiny yet vibrant republic, there's an adventure around every corner. Picture yourself strolling through the maze of narrow, winding streets, each turn revealing a new piece of history or a hidden gem of art. Don't be surprised if you stumble upon a museum tucked away in a centuries-old building. Here, the past and present intertwine in a fascinating dance, making you a part of this timeless narrative. Museums in San Marino are not mere buildings. They are portals to different worlds, from the National Museum, home to archaeological treasures, to the Modern Weapons Museum, showcasing historical armaments. Each place invites you on a journey through time. Art galleries in San Marino are equally captivating. They house the works of local artists, presenting a kaleidoscope of styles and themes that reflect the rich cultural tapestry of the Republic. Take a moment to immerse yourself in this artistic panorama. Let each brushstroke tell you a story, each sculpture whisper a secret, but the allure of San Marino extends beyond its urban charm. Imagine stepping out of the city and into nature's embrace. With its lush hiking trails and breathtaking panoramic views, San Marino is a paradise for nature lovers and adventure seekers alike. Feel the thrill of discovering a new path, the joy of reaching a peak, and the serenity of watching the sun set over the majestic landscape. And let's not forget the vibrant festivals that bring San Marino to life. From the traditional medieval days to the colorful San Marino Jazz Festival, these events are a feast for the senses, offering a unique blend of music, dance, and local cuisine. Speaking of cuisine, San Marino's gastronomic delights are a journey in themselves. From the hearty Piadina flatbread to the sweet Bostrengo cake, every bite is a celebration of the Republic's culinary heritage. San Marino is a treasure trove of experiences waiting to be discovered, so go ahead. Step into this enchanting realm and create memories that will last a lifetime. So, why is San Marino often overlooked by travelers? The answer, quite simply, is due to its size and the fact that it doesn't have its own airport. Nestled within Italy, San Marino is the third smallest country in Europe. Its lack of an airport could make it seem less accessible, but let's debunk that misconception right away. San Marino is readily accessible from Italy's major cities, only a short drive or train ride away. You can get there from Bologna or Rimini in less than two hours. So, while it may be small and without an airport, it is by no means unreachable. What's more, the attractions that San Marino offers are unique and enticing. From its medieval architecture to its stunning panoramic views, San Marino is a treasure trove waiting to be discovered. The charm of this hidden gem lies in its compact size, making every corner a new discovery. San Marino, though small, packs a punch that leaves a lasting impression. Scene script. San Marino, a tiny republic with a big heart and an even bigger history. So, we've journeyed together through the enchanting landscape of San Marino, a place where the past and present intertwine in a timeless dance. We've walked down memory lane, tracing the footprints of a history that reaches back over 17 centuries. We've marveled at the architectural wonders, from the stony fortresses that stand guard on Mount Titano, to the quaint cobblestone streets that wind through the heart of the city. We've immersed ourselves in unforgettable experiences, tasting the rich flavors of local cuisine and listening to the echoes of the past in the hallowed halls of the ancient towers. We've discovered a hidden gem nestled in the heart of Europe, a place where tradition and modernity exist side by side in harmonious balance. San Marino is more than just a destination. It's a love letter to history, a testament to the resilience of a small republic that has stood the test of time. It's a place where every stone, every street, and every building tells a story, whispering the tales of the people who have called this place home. The charm and allure of San Marino is undeniable. It's an invitation to step back in time, to experience a slower pace of life, and to immerse yourself in a culture that values its history and traditions. But it's also a place that looks forward, a vibrant modern city that embraces the future with open arms. So why not consider visiting San Marino? Whether you're a history buff, a food lover, or simply someone looking for a unique travel experience, there's something here for everyone. You don't have to be a seasoned traveler to appreciate the beauty and charm of this place. All you need is a sense of curiosity, a spirit of adventure, and a willingness to step off the beaten path. Embark on a journey to San Marino and become part of a living history that continues to enchant and inspire.